Hi, I'm Scott Garvey, machinery editor at Grain News Magazine, and here on the grounds of the Ag and Motion Farm Show, I'm with Marvin Gingrich, who is with Gingrich Reps. And Marvin, you represent a few different companies, but the product you brought to the show today is the Elo Scorpion Rock Rake and Rock Picker combination uh, machine behind us here. Tell me a bit about that. Well, the Elo uh, Scorpio Rock Picker is actually made in Finland. Um, it's uh, just been introduced into Canada in the last year and a half. Um, had some very good success with it because it's uh, it's a unique machine. And now this machine uh, is designed with a rake incorporated into it so it can uh, work well in fields where there's a lot of smaller stones that a regular rock picker might require a lot of a lot of part of the day to, to work on. That, that's right. It's a very efficient machine. You've got 18 feet of, uh, of swath and uh, typically travel speeds up to about three and a half mile per hour. Now you're telling me the hydraulic system on this machine is fairly advanced. Just tell me how, how it uh, compensates for avoiding damage there. Well what we have is a totally hydraulic system so we have no PDO shafts, no slip clutches, no chains, belts, shear pins, that type of thing. So everything's protected by relief valves. So, for instance, if we had a situation where we had one of the rakes get caught on something, um, that rake would stop, the oil from the stop motor would be diverted into the lift system, the machine would lift up automatically, and uh, as soon as that object is free enough to be kicked forward again, the machine would settle down to its prior depth. Now, what's the capacity in the, in the, in the hopper on this? A usable capacity in the hopper, you're looking at about two uh, cubic meters. And something uh, we noticed before uh, you were saying is th that other rock pickers don't do is that this could actually load into the back of a truck. Yeah, it's very high lift, so we can put it into rock trailers or right into uh, most trucks. So you could transport those rocks more easily than having to use a front end loader, say, off a rock pile and, and, and load it that way, be yeah. all one process. One process, yeah. So what's the horsepower requirement on this machine? You should have 120 horsepower and up. Uh, the nice thing about it being hydraulic, being everything's protected, you can run it just fine with 300 horsepower and just simply idle the machine down and, you know, 1500 RPM type of thing through the field. Now made in Finland uh, and imported into Canada through Ontario, uh, where the uh, distributor is. Uh, they're available now uh, this season? Yes, we have uh, we have a dealer set up in uh, Manitoba as well as Alberta and still working on Saskatchewan here but uh, yeah we've got seven of them uh, being in use in, in, in Manitoba now. Is there a website that uh, interested people could go to to find out more about the Absolutely, product? Absolutely, yes. Uh, the manufacturer's website is elho.fi or you can go to gingrich-reps.com. That's my website and the information's there. And is there a retail price for Canada established for this machine? Yes, the uh, list price for this machine is 109,000 Canadian and uh, that doesn't include the freight from Ontario. Okay. Well, thank you, Marvin. All right, thank you. Thank you.